How's it going, folks? I just came back from doing a little partying, so I'm kind of already a will on the road. But this chapter 10 isn't much to drink to anyway. But let's get it out of the way. And now I, Jacob. So now Jacob is briefly taking over second Nephi. This is an interesting trend that I've noticed in this book. The way they pass the torches, they just sort of like the other guy start writing in the other guy's plates. Because there was blank space left over. <laughs> I guess. That and they're quoting each other and shit. Alright. And, and now I, Jacob, speak unto you again, my beloved brethren. <coughs> Concerning this righteous branch of which I have spoken. Which we have obtained, uh, wait, spoken. For behold, the promises which we have obtained are promises unto us <coughs> according to the flesh. Wherefore, as it has been shown unto me that many of our children shall perish in the flesh because of unbelief. And nevertheless, God will be merciful unto many. That's nice. And our children shall be restored, that they may come to that which will be given, the, which will give them the true knowledge of their Redeemer. <clears throat> Wherefore, as I said unto you, it must needs be expedient that Christ, for that, wait, for in the last night the angel spake unto me that this should be his name. So now they can start saying Christ, instead of hinting around it. Yeah. They'll give you a zip code before you know it, and the number of his uh, Jim Locker combination. For in that last night the angel spake unto me that this should be his name, should come among the Jews, among those who are the more wicked part of the world, and they shall crucify him. For thus it behooveth our God that there is none other nation on earth that would crucify their God. I mean, so he knows all this shit way in advance. <sighs> but because of priestcrafts, priestcrafts and iniquities, they at Jerusalem will stiffen their necks against him that he be crucified. Wherefore, because of their iniquities, destructions, famine, uh, pestilences, and bloodshed shall come among them. And they who shall not be destroyed shall be scattered among all nations. But behold, thus saith the Lord God, when the day cometh that they shall believe in me, that I am Christ. So God is his own kid. God Jr. Kind of a vicious uh, circle there, don't you think? Yeah. Then have I covenanted with their fathers that they shall be restored in the flesh upon the earth unto the lands of their inheritance. I need a drink. Oh, let's show a little class for a second. 
for just a bit. This is the only one, so I'm going to savor it. about a good single malt scotch is uh, you leave that and let it get warm it just sweetens up it's amazing it's not sweetened or anything but it does mm. uh, I hate to rush this but I will all right and it shall come to pass that they shall be gathered in from their long dispersion from the isles of the sea and from the four parts of the earth and the nations of the Gentiles shall be great in the eyes of me saith God but me isn't capitalized and carrying them forth to the lands of their inheritance. Yea, the kings of the Gentiles shall be nursing fathers unto them, and their queens shall be nursing mothers. So we're ripping off Isaiah again. But as I'm starting to realize, I mean, this whole book is kind of a ripoff of Isaiah and the rest of the Bible. Wherefore, the promises of the Lord are great unto the Gentiles, for he hath spoken it. Who can dispute? But behold, this land, saith, said God, shall be a land of thy inheritance, and a Gentile shall be blessed upon the land. And this land shall be a land of liberty unto the Gentiles. And there shall be no kings upon the land who shall raise up unto the Gentiles. Could use another drink. Too bad. And I will fortify this land against all other nations. And he that fighteth against Zion I guess we're the new Zion. Shall perish, saith God. For he that raiseth up a king against me shall perish. For I, the Lord, the King of heaven, will be their king. And I will be a light unto them forever. That hear my words. Wherefore, for this cause that my covenants may be fulfilled, which I have made unto the children of men, that I will do unto them while they are in the flesh. I must needs destroy the secret works of darkness, and of murders, and of abominations. Wherefore, he that fighteth against Zion, both Jew and Gentile, both bond and free, both male and female, shall perish. For they are they who are the whore of all the earth. For they who are not for me are against me, saith our God. Can't take his ball home. Game over. The arch. For I will fulfill my promises which I have made unto the children of men, that I will do unto them while they are in the flesh. Sorry. Uh, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, thus saith our God, I will afflict thy seed by the hand of the Gentiles. Nevertheless, I will soften the hearts of the Gentiles that 
they shall be like unto a father to them. Get the belt. Yeah, I know all about that. Thanks. Got a new daddy. And a sugar daddy. Uh, get the belt. <sighs> Sorry, I lost my place. <laughs> Uh, like a, wait, I will soften the heart so that it will be like a father to them, wherefore the Gentiles shall be blessed and numbered among the house of Israel. That's like thanking the school bully, thanks. Wherefore I will consecrate this land, you know, right, this area, you know, uh, there. <laughs> that land. <laughs> this land unto thy seed, and them who are numbered among thy seed. Wherefore, uh, uh, forever, excuse me, <laughs> for the land of their inheritance, for it is a choice land above all other lands <laughs> all of them now that's the best one right right there where I just happen to live lucky me in the Golden State right. uh, <laughs> yeah. choice land saith God unto me above all other lands, wherefore I will have all men that dwell upon that up therein that they shall worship me, saith God. And now, my beloved brethren, seeing that our merciful God had given us so great knowledge concerning these things, let us remember them. <laughs> and lay aside our sins and not hang down our heads. For we are not cast off. Nevertheless, we have been driven out of the land of our inheritance, but we have been led to a better land. For the Lord hath made the sea our path. And we are upon the uh, upon an isle of the sea. But great are the promises of the Lord unto them who are upon the isles of the sea. Therefore it must, but therefore it says isles. Therefore must needs be more than this, and they are inhabited also by our brethren. So the Polynesians and the Samoans are all Jews. <laughs> Just unbelievable. <sighs> For behold, the Lord God has led away from time to time from the house of Israel according to his will and pleasure and now, behold, the Lord remembereth all them who have been broken off. Wherefore, he remembereth us also. Therefore, cheer up your hearts, and remember that ye are free to act for yourselves, to choose the way of <clears throat> everlasting death, or the way of everlasting death. Life. So you get a choice. <laughs> but only one choice. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, reconcile yourselves to the will of God and not to the will of the devil and the flesh. And remember, after ye are reconciled unto God, 
that it is only in and through the grace of God that ye are saved. Wherefore may God raise you from the dead by the power of the resurrection and also from everlasting death by the power of the atonement that ye may be received into the eternal kingdom of God that ye may praise him through grace divine. Amen. And that's another one down. Another one bites the dust. So anyway, I'll see you in chapter uh, 11. And it's a short chapter. I might actually cram a couple of those chapters of early Isaiah that they rip off uh, in because I think there's some drinks in there for me. So it's worth doing. So anyway, now they know the name of Christ. They just don't know the first name yet. They don't know J.C.'s first name yet, <laughs> according to the logic of this book. So anyway, I will see you in the next thrilling chapter of first, second, Nephi. Sorry, man, I shouldn't have been partying so much before I started this video, but it made it a little more entertaining for me, at least. I hope it makes sense for you. Anyway, later.